To turn on onion skinning, just use this checkbox. There's also this button for your convenience right in the comp window. You have the past frames, which is how many frames in the past it shows, future frames, which is how many frames in the future it shows. You have your frame step, which is uh, the distance between the onion skins. So two, that's pretty close. Four, that's a little bit more far away. You have your tint colors. So you can change the color of the skin if you want to. You can even change the color of your current frame, although I don't know why you would want to. But we gave you the option. You can also use onion skin on an adjustment layer, and uh, this is actually kind of cool. So uh, if you're doing something like puppet animation, I don't have a demo prepared, uh, there's one more feature that might be really useful for you is uh, this blend mode. Right now it's set to mix, which is the default, which maybe you're used to looking at. But we also have obscure, so that's going to comp them over the top so you're not seeing them fade through each other. And then we have the order of which present and front I think makes the most sense. However, you can do some cool stuff with uh, chronological and uh, present and front, where if you want to get like that effect of it moving through time or something. Uh, then of course you have your near opacity and far opacity uh, for each side, future, and uh, past. So that pretty much sums it up.